Let's go to Faye in Orem, who is concerned that states are losing their rights. Uh, Faye, you're on the line. Thank you. Senator Lee, I want to thank you for, for all your efforts, for yours and Rand Paul's and um, Ted Cruz, all the things that you've been trying to do, but I see that you're hobbled. You don't really have an opportunity to go forth and move. And so I have been concentrating more on local government. And I have really been feeling, well, as I feel it, and as I see it, we're threatened as U.S. citizens in so many ways because our state rights are in jeopardy. All our talk and all our concern doesn't seem to focus on any concrete action. So I'm just looking to you as what you would suggest. <clears throat> First of all, Faye, I congratulate you for focusing intuitively on what I think is one of the most important but often overlooked issues, which is the fact that government at the state level and at the local level is often the most, kind, most important kind of government there is. And these days it tends to be the most often overlooked form of government. We seem to have concluded, uh, many of us as Americans, that the bigger the problem, uh, the, the better suited Washington, D.C. is to handle it. But experience over the last few decades has taught us that, if anything, the opposite is true. What we have in the federal government is full of waste, and what we have in the federal government is full of excess. And every time the federal government grows bigger, more powerful, and more expensive, it tends to do so at your expense. It tends to do so in a way that makes people throughout the 50 states less powerful. Here's another way of looking at it. There are more people in the United States who could have access to more of the kind of government they want and less of the kind of government they don't want if they governed more at the state and the local level. Now, in some states, that might mean more government. In some states, that might be a single-payer, government-funded, government-run health care system. I'm told, for example, that the people of Vermont would very much like to move in that direction. And if they had the ability to do so without excessive interference by the federal government, people in Vermont would probably vote to do that within their state. I doubt Utah would be as inclined to go in that direction. But the point is that this principle, which I describe as federalism, the idea that each government needs to exercise its own kind of power according to what has been outlined in the Constitution, this concept is neither Democratic nor Republican. It is neither liberal nor conservative. It is, it is simply quintessentially American. And it's a principle that we have to embrace. It's a principle that we have to start using as a guiding principle as we vote and as we craft the kind of government that we want moving forward. 